In this video, we will see what are the up-to-date options to install Tasmota on an ESP device. We will go through the Tasmota prerequisites, ESP board preparation, flashing tools and initial configuration. But if you are wondering what actually is Tasmota, here is a quick explanation. Tasmota is an alternative open source firmware that allows you to locally control ESP8266 or ESP32 based devices using MQTT, HTTP, web interface and serial. The whole idea with Tasmota is the following. You buy an IoT device which usually is ESP based. That means the main chip inside is either ESP8266 or the newer one ESP32. This IoT device can be either without any software on it, as example D1 Mini, not MCU and many others, or the device can be pre-installed with software from the vendor that is selling it. For example, Sonoff, Shelly, Tuya and many many more. In both of the above mentioned scenarios, you can upload the Tasmota firmware. These are the prerequisites that needs to be met in order to do that. First, you have to connect the ESP device to your computer somehow. This usually can be done using a micro USB cable if the ESP device of interest have such port on it. Or you have to use a serial to USB adapter like this FTDI or this CH340G adapter. These adapters are available in AliExpress for around 1 or 2 US dollars. If your ESP device have a micro USB port, you just have to connect it to your PC and you are ready to upload Tasmota. Otherwise, you have to connect the serial to USB adapter to your computer and then you have to connect your serial to USB adapter to the ESP device as follows. VCC on the serial to USB adapter to VCC on the ESP device. Ground on the serial to USB adapter to ground on the ESP device. RX on the serial to USB adapter to TX on the ESP device and TX on the serial to USB adapter to the RX on the ESP device. Depending on the ESP device, you may have to hold down the board button or to connect the GPIO to ground with the wire while the device is booting to put it in programming or flashing mode. For some devices like the D1 Mini and not MCU, you don't have to do anything special to put them in programming mode, as they are in constant mood for updates, if you know what I mean. After you are ready with the flash mode, you have to download the latest Tasmota firmware binary, which is actually one not very big .bin file from the official Tasmota website, and to use one of the available software tools for uploading the firmware. I can recommend to use Tasmota web installer which is basically a web page. The only requirements for this tool is to use Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge browsers. The other not bad at all alternative, if you don't have such browsers, is to use a tool called Tasmotizer, which is available for Windows, Linux and Mac. The bonus with Tasmotizer is that you can set your Wi-Fi and even MQTT credentials in advance before uploading the Tasmota firmware. That way, the device will automatically connect and will be ready to be used after the Tasmota uploading process is finished. If you do not set your Wi-Fi credentials in advance from Tasmotizer, or if you use the Tasmota web installer, you have to go through Tasmota initial configuration, which is very easy. But let's see an actual Tasmota upload demo because, as I like to say, one picture means thousand words and one demo means thousand pictures. Imagine how many words the following demo is worth. I will open a new Chrome browser and I'll search for Tasmota. This is the official webpage tasmota.github.io and I'll click on it. At the time of shooting this video, the latest version of Tasmota is 10.1.0 but when you are watching this, the version can be higher and I'll open this tasmota.github.io slash install webpage 
which is the actual Tasmota web installer. Now I will connect my D1 mini device to one of the USB ports of my computer like that. D1 mini doesn't have to be put in programming mode. So I'll just click on connect. From here I have to select my USB port. On Windows and Linux this text can be different, but you will figure it out which one to choose. And then I'll click connect. Install release Tasmota English. Do you want to erase the device before installing? Yes, I want to do that. Next. Install. This is very important. Keep this page visible to prevent slowdown or even errors. So don't close this page. Don't focus anywhere else. Just wait for the installation of Tosmota to finish. Installation is complete. How easy was that? Can you tell me? Very, very easy. I'll just click next and I'll close this. Now I'll go to my Wi-Fi options and I'll search for Tasmota Networks. Where it is? Here it is actually, the last one, Tasmota and some digits. I'll connect to this network and I'll wait for a pop-up window. Here it is. These are my Wi-Fi networks. I'll select one and I'll enter my Wi-Fi password. Click save and the device will restart and I will try to connect to my Wi-Fi. Successful Wi-Fi connection. It even displays my new device IP. And if I connect to my regular Wi-Fi, this one, I can try to open the IP of the Tasmota device. And here it is. Very nice. This is the version. This is the console. And this is the configuration menu. From here you can configure MQTT, domotics, timers, emulation and many many things. And because every newly flashed device with Tasmota is with Sonoff basic module configuration, I can configure module and from this drop down I can search for my board and my chip. And because there is no D1 Mini yet, I'll choose a generic device and I'll save. The device will restart and I'm ready. Now I can attach to this D1 Mini sensors, relays and whatever I wish. And I can configure them from this configuration menu. Everything is well described in the Tasmota web page. There are a lot of examples and demos that can be used right away. So depending on your needs, you can find a lot of information there. If the Tasmota flashing process is not for you, but you want to use Tasmota firmware anyways, I will link in the video description several pre-flashed with Tasmota and ready-to-use devices that are available in AliExpress. Maybe you want to integrate your Tasmota device with Home Assistant or you want to install a MQTT server and to connect your Tasmota device there. Check this video of mine where I'm describing everything in details. If you are a bit lost with the words and abbreviations that I used during this video, go to my website eliansky.com slash glossary and download my PDF glossary, which is absolutely free. Subscribe for my channel with the notification bell to be notified when I release a new video. Follow me on Twitter and join my Discord server. I'm Kiryu and I'm done speaking. Bye!